place to work. We have the best volunteers in the whole wide world. Come here, Kiki. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to probably bring um, Sesame up here today and put him in the uh, new or in Dodger's pen so he can start acclimating to being in here. He's out there in Thumper's room right now, but we'll keep him in. Uh, uh, we'll keep Sesame in Dodger's pen for a day or so. class in Iowa. That's cool. Um, Promise. Promise is eating canned food. She loves the fancy feast, especially the um, bits and pieces type ones. We always can use towels because our, our towels, we use them so much they wear out quickly. Sesame's story is she was, uh, or he, oh. oh, wait a minute. I messed something up here. No, on the floor now. Oh, what is Promise eating? Now? Oh, she's playing with a feather. She loves feathers. She loves feathers. She was playing with it. Um, you know, people's asked me before about electric can opener, and it would be nice, but we have no space on that counter over there. I thank you for asking, though. So we just do the grind and squeeze it on and crank it open kind. I wish we had more counter space over there. If we did, that would be the first thing I'd probably get is an electric can opener. Uh, Sesame Story. Um, but thank you for asking. Uh, Sesame Story is that he arrived in defiance on a big uh, delivery semi truck to Myers from way, way, way out of town. When they opened the doors, there he was roaming around in the back of the big semi. And uh, so, so he came right up to him. He's awfully, awfully, awfully nice cat. <laughs> very, very, very sweet. And so they put him in one of their boxes and taped it up and just drove over here uh, with him. So he's he's really awesome. I didn't know there was handheld electric openers. I didn't do that. Didn't know that. No, no, no. A week from today we start moving out. The four starts on Monday the thirtieth. So on the 28th and 29th, we'll be moving stuff out. And pro probably, I'm not sure if I'll move the cats out Saturday night or Sunday morning, one or the other. But the big trailer that's going to hold all the furniture and belongings and all that stuff that's in here will come on Wednesday. But we really don't want to take too much out of here till Saturday or Sunday. I read that story, Auntie Fee, about that cat, Casper. Isn't that awesome? Or cats that will go in a building and ride up the elevator to a, you know, like where they have stores inside big buildings and get a little food. Yeah, I promise it's a cool kitty. Yeah, not, not this weekend. It'll be next weekend that I'll probably be hairless because I'm probably going to lose all my hair over all this. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's it. Casper the community cat. Anakin is not very well. Thank you for asking. Um, she's very, very ill. We're doing everything we're supposed to be doing for her. It's a battle. And I'm not sure where, who's going to win on this one. She's very ill. Uh, Jaken, who I bet was calling Jason, but uh, Tommy corrected me last night and said it's Jaken. So he's in a room right now, and he's doing better, but I, it was time to separate the two. So uh, we'll, we'll keep Jake in the room to make sure he's eating, drinking, playing, and all that fun stuff before he comes back out here again. And then the sibling to these guys is um, Jaina, who's, who hasn't missed a beat. She's doing awesome. Very, very, very well. You got that right. It is never easy to have a sick one. We... We try so hard on every single one of them. Where were they found, the three? 
Uh, they were found in an alleyway here in Defiance behind a grocery store. Somebody probably just dumped them off. Yeah. Today is kind of a very important day for Anakin. We either got to get better or I don't think she can hang on like she's doing all day without improving. But we've been in, in uh, line with our vets and they agree it's a virus. It's a battle of wills of who's going to win. Yeah, me too. Aw, yeah. Yeah, I hate it when there's something sick here. We, but we do everything we possibly can, humanly can, for them. And not let them suffer, too. She's not, she's on some very light soreness meds also, so that she's not in any pain at all. So everybody else is doing good. County's sitting down there, that real beautiful gray silver tiger. He's doing awesome. <laughs> yeah, good day. We have uh, good parts of days and sad parts of days yet. My mom's a my mom's a worry for me. Is it? Tiki Sir Talk. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us. Okay, well, I think I'll finish scooping. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm at. My mom has spent two years taking care of my dad, and um, it's hard, you know. My mom's going to be 88 next month, and she's kind of lost. He was her her constant constant person in the home and her whole entire routine was around my dad. So she's a little lost right now. I'll go out again today and uh, just check on her. She and I get along real good together. I will tell her she likes this webcam. She doesn't see it except when she's here. <laughs> yeah, she likes to love on the kitties when she's here. Alrighty, well, I'm going to... Who's doing that? Is that you, Cyrilla, playing? I'm going to turn the sound off for a while so I can have some music on while I sweep and pop and scoop. And uh, today is Saturday, so today Stacy's here this morning. Sigrid is coming in this morning. Greg will be here this afternoon, and tonight is Becky. And let me think here a minute. Today's a sad day for me for Sigrid. Today's her last day for like five weeks. She's going on vacation. I will miss her big time, not only because she's a good friend, but because she helps us so much. She comes twice a week in the mornings, and boy, she whips out a long list. She can do a lot. She does a good work. And I know she's going to miss the kitties also. Kitties will miss her. Yeah, she's pretty fun, isn't she? She's a cool person. So um, that's our schedule for today. I've got somebody coming in this morning to maybe look at Raina. It kind of is bad weather out there, so I'm not sure. The snow has stopped, so sometimes that slows down people coming in. So we'll see what happens today. Oh, hey, vacation, yeah. I would I would kind of sort of maybe like that, but I couldn't leave for very long. I just couldn't do it. Too much happens here. You're very welcome, cat guy. And how much snow? Maybe I haven't. I've, I've swept the sidewalk maybe three inches, so not bad at all compared to what some of you all have been getting. First time that our snowplow boy, well, my mom and dad call him snowplow boy, the snowman, the snowplow guy has been here all season, so that tells you right there it's been an easy winter for us. 
No, we didn't get any ice. No. I think down more south of us they did. See you later, Bubbles. Yeah, I heard that's what I heard that Columbus had some got some ice. Yeah, not only do I have my the rescue, but I've got um, my babies all mine in the house and then the farmyard critters too to keep track of and then Cats Cove or Kitty City cats in the sun porch. So it's hard. It's it's hard for me to leave. Kate's always bugging me to come out to see her in Arizona, but with all this stuff going on here and my mom is just and Steve is too much. Aw, Lily's one of my favorite cat names. In our very first year we did this, I named the cat Lily. Aw, yep, it's there having 70, 80 degree weather. But that's okay, we'll have it in the, in the summer. Okay, well I'm going to douse the sound and turn on my music and get my scooping done and the floor. So thanks all for being here. Please, please remember to vote. No, I'm not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Hi, Badinsky. No, I was just saying Kate's always wanting me to come to Arizona, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. So, alrighty, and I'll get the sound on later today. Thanks, everybody. Please remember to vote, and maybe during the day, just keep reminding people for me um, to vote. Thanks, everybody.